All right, this is my torpedo heater. Uh, I've had it for years, probably 10. Um, it's 170T, which is 170,000 BTUs. Holds probably about seven or eight gallons of diesel fuel or kerosene or gasoline or whatever the hell you want to put in it, I guess. It's uh, multi-use. JP8, jet fuel, kerosene, and uh, one and two diesel and kerosene, not gasoline. Uh, the problem we're having with this thing is it'll run for two or three minutes and then shut off and smoke like a pig. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the fuel pressure. And you do that with this gauge. Okay? And I have a little fitting that I made up on here. And we're going to go up and look up the pressures and then uh, we will come back down here. Okay, this is the website to check for the heaters. See, they have the gauge. I just have mine on a hose. The guys that do it for a living will have it on just a brass coupler. It's an eighth inch fitting. So we will scroll down. Okay, there's two different types. There's the oval inlet and the square inlet. Okay, we know ours is a square. Okay, see it even says shut down and after five seconds. Okay, we know ours is not an ignition failure, it's a fuel problem because you can hear it puttering out. Okay, on here, what you want to do, I've actually got the guard off of mine so I can change the filter. And then this is the round one. These are the PSI for the round ones. We don't have the round ones, so we're going to scroll down a little farther. And then these are the square one. I have 170,000 BTUs, so it should be six pounds of pressure. Okay, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and check it and adjust it and then uh, we'll go from there but we know it's six pounds of pressure for 170,000 BTU so let's go back down the building <clears throat> all right the first thing you want to do is remove the plug where the uh, gas gauge is going to go in fuel pressure gauge take the gauge off of the hose and make it easier to screw in um, you can put a little round of Teflon tape on here to make sure it's not going to leak. Okay, um, I'm just going to snug it up a little bit. You don't want to go too tight, you'll crack the plastic housing. Snug, okay? You know what snug is? Now, we'll put our gauge on here. Now it's going to get noisy. Okay, we're going to turn it on see what it says almost 8 PSI that's almost 8 we need to be down here on 6 okay so there's a screwdriver slot right in here for a regular screwdriver to fit so you turn this until so this comes to 6 PSI, okay? You can actually hear the tone of the heater change. That's 6 PSI, okay? That is all you have to do. You're done. You make sure it's on 6. You can see how it's nice and steady and don't fluctuate and jump around, okay? That means there's no air leaks around the pump. Shape. All we do is turn it off, put our plug back in, and we'll just go as far as it can. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Get the wrench back out of my pocket. I'll find out which pocket I put the wrench in. Okay. Take this plug back out. Put it back in your toolbox because you know periodically, depending on what kind of fuel you run in it, it will change the the pressure in it. Um, put your plug back in. Like I said, make sure it's snug, not tight. I mean, this thing will crank until it bottoms out. But then you're just going to mushroom out the threads. Okay. Then you want to fire the heater up. Make sure it runs okay. Front 